Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Grow. I'm excited to be in this speakeasy to share this video about Stag. I have fallen in love again with Stag. Stag is one of those whiskeys where I loved it, and then they came out with, I think, batch, was it 15? I didn't love so much. And and uh, anyway, no, it was 16. No, 15? One of the batches I didn't love quite as much as some of the other ones, and it just was like, man, the hard, it was so hard to get a hold of it, and it was just frustrating. But someone was gracious enough to send me a sample of Stag 19 or you know 22B, whatever you want to call it. I actually have a sample of Stag 18 here and the Stag store pick that I got a hold of. Now we're going to try the new Stag, what is it, Stag 19 slash 22B, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to tell you what I think about it. Now, if you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Well, I was telling you a story and then I got sidetracked because I always, you know, lose lose track of what I'm trying to talk about. And uh, but I fell in love with Stag again with this Stag store pick. The Stag store pick is such an amazing, amazing store pick. Uh, got this uh, down at Largo in Savannah, 137.4 proof. It is so rare to get a Stag pick, and I was so fortunate that they uh, they helped me out and get me get help me get a hold of one. We did a blind the other day on Jamie's channel, which is Beyond the Row. If you want to see more videos of me uh, drinking with drinking whiskey and loving whiskey and doing blinds and whatnot, go to Beyond the Row. That's my wife's channel. She kind of runs that whole thing, but I'm in every episode. She drags me down and she forces me to drink whiskey, which is something I just, oh, it makes me so mad all the time. Anyway, so let's pour these up. We're going to get them, uh, let them air out for just a minute and then we'll get started. We'll figure out uh, what I think about them. As always with this kind of thing, I'm so grateful for you people out there who are so kind and gracious and help me get a hold of stuff and help get me samples that I wouldn't otherwise get. All right, let's dive into the 19. Now on the nose, there's a really pronounced kind of vanilla cream. Ooh, it's proofy. A little bit of ethanol there. A little bit of red berry. It's very, very faint though on this one. There is definitely a strong Dr. Pepper or a cola quality to it. It smells good. I like the nose on it. I'm not sure how it compares, but let's let's go ahead and try it. Wow, that is powerful. That is just really, really powerful. It just kind of punches you right in the mouth. Great mouthfeel, nice and syrupy. Very strong proof presence. It's, you know, the first high proof I've had tonight. So definitely, definitely feeling it quite a bit here in the chest. But that being said, it goes down very easy. All right, after the hug dies down and you can sit it back and enjoy it just a little bit more, uh, this is a, a really nice one. It has a, a really kind of a pronounced uh, brown sugar. There's a little bit of plum, which is kind of what I was getting with that Dr. Peppery note. A uh, little bit of plum fruit on that. A little bit of very mild chocolate. It's, it's not pronounced very much at all, but just a little bit. One of the things that I like about this one so far is it's got a really nice blend of some of those fruity notes. A little bit of that berry, a little bit of that plum mixed with the nice sugar notes, the brown sugar notes and caramel and vanilla cream mixed with a little bit of baking spice, um, but just very mild. And then the proof spice, obviously. And then there's a little bit of a, a little bit of an oakiness that's really, really pleasant on this one. I like 19 or 22B or whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a good version of Stag. Let's see how it compares against the 18. Now, the 18 has got a much, much more brown sugar nose. It's brown sugar and berries. I'd say it's kind of like a cooked raspberry kind of thing going on. Now, I think the 18 is a little bit more brown sugar and, and like cooked berries on the nose. It has a proof presence, but it doesn't seem quite so spiky and harsh as the 19, at least at first. Let's try it. it smells really good. Wow. As much as I like the 19, I think the 18 might be better. The thing is, when the 18, it's a, a little less kind of chest huggy and proofy. Uh, at least the sensation I'm getting, the, the feeling I'm getting from it. And then it's got this really nice red berries and brown sugar. Like everything that I got on the nose is is coming through on the palate. Uh, it's not as vanilla creamy to me as the 19. It does have a, a little bit uh, more kind of sippable quality than the, uh, the 1919s, but a little bit more impactful maybe. I really like the 18 too. That's actually really hard competition there. Let me go back to the uh, the 19 and see if it uh, how it fares now. The 19 has a little bit more of a clove presence as well, which is really interesting to me. I wasn't picking it up at first, but now considering the 
just the sippability of the 18. I think the 19's got a little bit of clove. And then the 18, like I said, that just that that real sippability. Yeah, there's proof. Yes, it's high. But man, that is so sippable. The mouthfeel on them, both of them are just fantastic. It's a stag. You would expect that from such a high proof, impressive bourbon. Uh, overall, both are really, really good. However, if I had to pick between the two, which one I think I would rather sip on uh, and I would enjoy more, I would say the 18. If I had to pick between the two, that would be my pick. And uh, that's not to say the 19 is bad because, man, I'd love to get a hold of the 19 as well or the 22B, whatever you want to call it. Now, the real test, though, is this stag store pick is the best stag that I've ever had. Uh, it's as good and comparable with an E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, in my opinion, or at least the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proofs that I've tried. And uh, it's, I don't know if it's as good as GTS. I haven't put it ne up next against the real George C. Stag, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was at least competitive. So let's try this uh, Stag store pick, and then uh, then we'll go back to the other two. On the nose, there's just all this fruit. There's like peaches and berries. A little bit of like a butterscotch and caramel. Definitely got an ethanol burn at 137 odd proof. On the palate, it comes across super berry. Way more berry than either one of the other two. Great mouthfeel. It's berries and cream. It's like, it's like red berries and raspberries and cream uh, over like a shortcake with um, whipped cream on top. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, let's let's try go back to the 18, which since I liked it better right after the uh, the store pick and see how that fares. The 18 holds up to it pretty well. It's not as berries and cream and desserty and delicious. It's a little bit more. Uh, I don't want to say balanced because that's not quite the right word. The store pick's more delicious, but the 18 is really nice, and it's a le little less proofy, a little less of a total experience total ride but it's a good bottle now let me put the store pick up against the 19 and see how it fares now one thing about the store pick even though it has all those berries and cream and shortcake notes it actually has a little bit of clove the 18 didn't have any of that clove the 19 has the clove let me go to the 19 now after tasting the store pick and going back to the 19 the 19 actually has a little bit of an earthiness which i didn't pick up before it's not off-putting, really, but it's there. It's noticeable. So, yeah, the store pick wins out the day, but that's usually how store picks are, especially for these really nice Buffalo Trace products. The store pick of a, a store, a Weller store pick, a Weller foolproof store pick, for example, or a Stag store pick, or any of the other standard, you know, an Eagle Rare store pick. Almost always the store pick from Buffalo Traces are better than the standard offerings. So it's not really fair, but I did want to bring it in just as a comparison for my own edification, if not for your enjoyment. So if you have the opportunity to get a stag at a reasonable price, and it's a 19, get it. If it's a reasonable price, get the 18. If it's a reasonable price, get a store pick. Obviously for stags, they're so rare, so hard to find. If you can get a hold of one, get one, because they're um, it's going to be good. You're going to probably like it, and if not, you know, it's still, it's a great experience for you to have. But uh, try to get one. Would you chase it? How high would you chase it? I'm not getting into that game with the stags because it's really hard to say and it's all about your budget and what you can afford. But they're really impressive. They're really good. Now, if you want to support us directly, go to patreon.com slash whiskey row. And we have all kinds of fun stuff. We got the whiskey row Royal Rumble coming up, Discord. We've got barrel picks coming, all kinds of fun stuff. Go check it out. If you want to see more content with Jamie and I together, or at least more content of me, go to Beyond the Row. This is our kind of side channel where Jamie and I, my wife and I, we film videos together. Every one of those videos has me in it. So, you know, it's going to be good, right? Probably not, but whatever. Anyway, if you ended up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until next time, find a bottle you love.